Greetings! Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for WordPress Content Crawler plugin. WordPress Content Crawler is a WordPress plugin for your website and by using it, you automatically get content from almost any site to your WordPress site. If you would like to buy the plugin or try out the demo or read our beautiful guides, the links are at the description below. Now let's get started. Here's our roadmap. We will program the plugin for one time and it will automatically get contents, update them, delete them, translate them or spin them as you wish. Now go to demo.wpcontentcrawler.com Click on admin login and use the language of your preference and click login. From here you will click content scroller. Here's a little window welcoming us. Let me introduce you to our brand new interactive guides. These interactive guides will walk users through most of their questions. Hence, you can just go and start using plugin right away now. I'll be using these guides in the video too. I'll try to explain a little more on the way. If it is your first time, you will be directed to quick start guides or you can manually start from guides tab by yourself over here here you can see the steps included inside the guides as you can see you can start any of it now I will go and start from the top quick start it welcomes us click here to add a new site enter a name for your reference type anything that makes sense for you just enter a general link after this I will go with the test site video and the URL of the page you will be working on today we will work on hurriedtailernews.com I will pick the only that part and write it down instead of anything else I don't want to write and any categories here next scheduling this is where the magic happens don't forget to check it otherwise it will not start crawling and next we will go to categories categories are like sports page style page economy page for a news website categories contain post content links and a post page is where the articles are and the post page will contain article title, content, image, summary, text and everything else. Now it's asking for a category URL. For example, I would only like to get the arts part of the website here, arts and life. I will just copy and paste that one. Next. We will put a sample link here for testing in order to check our settings. Now, Visual Inspector is going to help us pick the selector for the post links. Click the range icon here. And here it explains why we are here. Basically, we will pick a selector. You can manually type it here for CSS selector part or select it by clicking only. Now I would like to get the post links. We will go there and get the posts. Now I click two times, two elements selected and it is on the similar behavior. And the second click will try to find similar elements to the first click. Okay, now it found 26 of them. I will go next. This is our selector. You can manually write it down. No worries about it. I will go with it now. After this, we will test the configuration using the magnifier here. Click on it. It came up with all kinds of links from the page. 26 of them. We already saw it on the page. You can just try it out if you want to. And here it opens the post. It works very nice. I will hide it next the post page. Now we have the post links. We need to get the post contents. For this purpose, the guide will take us to the post section. Same as category URL, 
we will put a sample URL here and decide on our selectors. Let's say I want to get this web page. This is my article. I will get this link for post page. Copy and paste. Next. Here we will type a post title selector. I'm opening the visual selector again. It's already found. See? CSS selector found. This automatically found whenever it can. The visual selector will find what you're looking for if it is possible. Here I don't need to click anymore, but I can still click. H1 is my element. Use CSS selector. Click on it. Test it. Here, Plexis, Zigma, blah, blah. I have it. Perfect. Now it goes to content. I want to get the article itself. Time for a selector for the post content. I click on visual inspector again. Now I need to find the article. This is the article. Now, if you look at this, you will see the selector behavior is contains. If I click on it, it will take the element that contains the paragraph I collect. So it is content class. The problem here is it got the title again. Just now we got the title, so we don't want to get it again. Okay. I want to go more specific. Let me just click on this. Close this one. I will click on similar. I want this. It already came up. The content P. I just I will just get the P. I don't want to get the. Now you can check like this. It looks very nice. It gets everything except the image here. Image part is like this. We are blocking the scripts. JavaScript is not working at the moment. So this page image is lazy load image. So it will load after the page is loaded using JavaScript. And we cannot see it now. The solution is you pick the image now I will give you the image content that image I have to click two times but it found it make sure you check the alternatives as you can see there are other options for your selectors you can just write class content with IMG tag this is one selection only one one if you just write down IMG it will come up with 17 which is not what I'm looking for you can write child selectors as well but don't go that road the simpler the better now this is working perfect right now let's test it manually this seems to get the IMG tag very nice click check I like to get it up there image will be shown in the top side of the page as it is here I will go on with my guides I just close it I will reopen it it says post title post title already got test results let's go from here see I will check and it keeps on working now I will test it okay we got the tag all right now the image is not shown on the page but we will do some tricks to make it shown I will click on manipulate HTML there's shortcuts for you here I will quickly go over it I can exchange element attributes which means I'm trying to get IMG tag selector my first attribute will be SRC and data src is where they store in the web page for lazy loads you can go inspect it the image and see what's going on there for this particular web page it is stored in here this is the solution for the lazy loads if you didn't understand it just copy paste it don't worry about it save it i show you how to test it now go to tester this is our site test site video it was a post page I will put the full link of the post test it here we have the image okay all the details are here 
here on the page you will see some active links there. If I click on this, it will go to the original website, which was the huriatdailynews.com. You can just basically remove these links with one click. I will, I will go to my sites, edit it. From here, go to templates, go to quick fixes, remove links from shortcodes, remove it, remove scripts, remove empty elements this is like default thing you do because you don't want the links in your article you don't want empty HTML and you don't want scripts at all make sure you always click those because you don't want anyone to script into your web page don't allow it click save I will go test tour again test the link see the links are gone that's it next make sure you publish it otherwise it will not work you make sure you always saving your work after one time you publish it you will just click on quick save here button here and be done with it guide will take us to general settings now it is asking us if the scheduling is active if it is not checked it will not start crawling it so make sure it's checked post url collection interval if you keep it in every minute here is your options if you keep it in every minute every 60 seconds the crawler will go collect post links and check for updates if there is any after collection of post links every minute the plugin will save one of the posts whose URL was saved with URL collection events. Just now we collected it, now it will try to crawl it to your website. Don't worry about little details for now. You can start with every minute to check it out, then change it to 30 minutes to keep it that way. It will work unless you stop it. Finally, we will save it and then it will take us to dashboard page on the top of the page you will see how many posts and URLs are saved deleted updated or on the queue here you can see it is active for scheduling here and inactive for recrawling and deleting second part you can see timings for the last and the next events number of posts you are saved on your website at last here is your posts recently saved click and check if you want to check it after this you can just arrange a time for yourself for auto refreshing the dashboard you can just say five seconds completed every five seconds the dashboard will renew it for you and you will see what is going on in your plugin now it's your time to practice i will put link to the website on your page to the description below go there pick another category for yourself and set the selectors comment your category along with your selectors so we can discuss subscribe to us to master the wordpress content scroller plugin have a fantastic day